very special episode of Lift Companion. We are in uh, Tokyo, Japan. It's been a long time coming, man. Yeah. I feel like we've been talking about this trip Since for years. 2018. Yeah. Clarence and I have had a pretty long uh, relationship starting from probably like 2016-ish, 2017-ish. Met you in Dublin with that seminar. Yep. Then met you in Texas. Met you with Juji. This is the fourth time I met. Yeah. You. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Miami. Yeah. Oh, Miami. Things. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. this trip, you know, is a long time coming. Finally, we're here. It's kind of surreal, mm. but no better way to do it than with an episode of Live Companion. On this episode, we are going to look at Clarence's greatest hits, all of Clarence's biggest videos, and I want to talk to him about those lifts and what was going on in his mind, where he was, where he was in his training, because I actually know these things and I find it to be incredibly interesting to find the backstory of this. What's the things they did with music? It's behind the music, right? <laughs> behind the lifts. Behind the lifts. Ooh, that's the name. Yeah. All right, oh, okay. okay. So what we're gonna do uh, today, we're gonna snatch. Yeah. Simple as that, we're gonna get into the snatching and then um, we'll probably do it right before our first wait. We'll ask him about his uh, biggest video on YouTube by far. Cool. Oh, my hips. Oh, my hips. God. <laughs> How'd you find these bars, actually? Uh, not my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. They don't rotate. No. As much as other bars. No, they don't spin. Yeah. That's the, like, Aleiko's kind of known for having a slow spin. Oh. But these are, these don't spin at all. Oh, fuck. It's funny, I'm actually feeling the the bicep doms now. And I did that what well, bicep workout. Yeah. How many days ago? Three days ago now? Yeah. <laughs> like my biceps are so sore. I always forget about that exercise. <laughs> oh. Is that a joke or are you actually serious? This? Yeah, so- It looks like you're serious. Yeah, so this, I'm not actually zerturing. Yeah. This is just a way for me to stretch my hammies. <laughs> I just keep it in the same place. Yeah, yeah. And stretch my hammies. It's pretty nice, actually. You wanna try it? Just literally like this. Sure, yeah. <sighs> it, what it does is it helps me, it helps me keep my chest down as I'm pulling my- Yeah. Okay. So you just go all the way down, just relax. And then yeah, you just stretch your yeah. hammies to where you want. It feels nice in the back right Yeah, there. right there it feels yeah. good. Yeah, right? oh, so good. I actually might add this to my warm up. Look at that. Yeah. Did you invent this? I uh, guess, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So like for, for instance, like when you want to get down into a start position in the snatch, Ooh. like a, mo a lot of it is, Ready, readiness in your hamstrings. Yeah. So like, you know, if, if you have to keep your back straight, there has to be some ability for your hamstrings to be stretched out. So yeah. like, this is my preparation for that. Cool. And it's just, it's hard to kind of do this without the, the zercher grip. Yeah, yeah. I noticed when I was training like very frequently, like nine times a week mm -hmm. or more, that I didn't even have to warm up. Or I could warm up very quickly for like every single lift. Because I was doing it so frequently. Yeah, that's how it works, and, that's um, for sure. Because of that, it saves so much time in the gym and it allowed me to do more sets on, um, you know, the sets that actually mattered. Yeah. Yeah, instead of like warm up weights. This yeah. is one of those yeah. things that people are gonna hear and they're gonna, they're gonna wanna do it. But this is Clarence <laughs> fucking Kennedy. 
Okay. <laughs> Warm I mean, up. I, I would say that kind of <laughs> applies to everyone, though. Yeah, because but, like if okay, you're training the newer six lifter, times, yeah, the newer lifter, mm. it's gonna be very long, very long time before they get used to just basically being able to walk in the gym and not warming up. Of course, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, so, the first lift. 340 kilo deadlift. Oh, of course. At, yeah. <laughs> this is by far your biggest video. Eight million views, I think? 7.4. Oh, getting there. <laughs> so, yeah. what, like, what was your life like at this time of training? What was like, my life like? like? Um, I believe that's when I was still going to college. So, I still had a lot of time to train. I didn't have a part-time job or anything. So I was training quite a lot. Um, this is the, at the end of a peak as well. Like my goal during this phase of training was to clean jerk PR because it was far behind my snatch. And I pretty much failed it. I didn't even add a kilo onto my clean jerk. And you can see this is basically a 222.5 kilo uh, clean jerk attempt. This is an attempt uh, two kilos above my best, and I failed the jerk. I just cut it out here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, people found this funny because they thought I was going to deadlift uh, the first rep. Yeah, yeah, and then they saw me clean it. <laughs> I, I didn't yeah. know that you had cleaning jerks in front of us. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. So now we're at two. But usually at the end of a peak, um, I always go for a deadlift max because, like, you know, why not? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Because especially because it's the most fatiguing lift. Yes. You know? Yeah. You're so gonna... I, I didn't even train for a deadlift. Really? Yeah. Like you didn't do, what, what would be the heaviest pull you did? Leading Prior up? to this? Yeah. Oh, um. Like no, it, like in that cycle. In that cycle. Um, 250 for five? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. 250 yeah. for five all the way up 90 kilos for a single. <laughs> yeah. You probably had a little more maybe. This is and this is a drop set, 290 for five I believe. What was scarier? Oh, 300 for, for three, four. Over. So for four? Yeah. What was the scarier lift? Like the 300 or 340? Yeah, the f by five or the same? Deadlifts for me, they aren't scary at all. Yeah. Um, like, I'm not, I'm not scared to go for heavy deadlift at all. I just need to, like, psych myself up for them. Um, but with clean and jerks, like cleans, especially heavy cleans, that is by far the scariest lift. Heavy squats are definitely scarier than deadlifts. That's the most aesthetic mm. <laughs> Don't get them started. <laughs> Don't get the audience yeah. started. That's the reason I got views as well. What? Because I was wearing a tank top and yeah. you can see yeah. my physique. Yeah. But it, it does annoy me that that's like my most viewed video because, you know, I'm not a power lifter. I'm a weight lifter. Like I want my snatch videos and clean jerk videos to get more views than that video. But, you know, powerlifting is more universal. Yeah, yeah, so of course. People are going to be more interested in your squat than your mm. clean and jerk, yeah. always. Mm. But like fans always come up to me in the street and they're always like, uh, oh, I saw your deadlift video, I saw your squat video. It's never like, oh, you can snatch one nine, that's incredible, you know? <laughs> Which is really annoying, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's, you know? Literally, it's literally like um, if you're a 100 meter runner and people came up to you and was like, oh, you can deadlift 300, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and you, you, you can uh, run a 10 seconds flat. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't even know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, should we get a 70? Mm. One more, actually. One more. Do you want to go again, or? Yeah, I'll do one more. Yeah. Ah, let's go first. Yeah, hop in. <clears throat> Don't be shy. You want to wear these at some point? Or no. Uh, I'll see. Okay. I don't think I need them. Uh. Oh. 
<sighs> now 70? Yeah, 70. Okay. You know what we have next. The most viral squat on the internet. <laughs> the infamous pause squat. <laughs> I actually uploaded this uh, when I was staying at your house, I remember. I made it public. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we wait, saw wait, like in little... Texas? Yeah, in Texas, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was a part of history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah. Clarence came down to visit. We did a bunch of videos, and then we went to Miami. Um, and that's where you uploaded it. I totally f forgot about it. Okay, so this um, wasn't the original big squat of yours. The original big one was the 300 one. Yeah. That was up for years, right? Or like two yeah. years? Two or three years before this one, yeah. yeah. This was done in 2017, I believe. And it was uploaded uh, 2018, 2019. But whatever. And so, I know the answer to this, but can you explain why you were doing pause squats? Um, originally, it was because of my knee injury. Like, it felt safer to do pause squats versus just dive bomb squatting, as people call it. Um, so that was originally the reason. Um, like, here, I could just do regular squats. It was totally safe, though, but uh, the pause squats, uh, they got me loads of views on YouTube, <laughs> and they, were, they felt nicer for me, and I got so used to them, so I just continued to do them. Yeah. So, I always feel with with pause squats, for yeah. me, front squats, but I feel like pause squats in general, they just, they give you like, it's like this feeling you're using your legs. Mm. You're like, An <laughs> another reason I like them as well is because like uh, the technique is easier. Um, mm. Like every rep is consistent, whereas like with the regular basketball, you can mess up the timing mm -hmm. with the you stress could, You could drop too fast, yeah, you yeah. could drop too yeah. slow. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah, so the technique is definitely more consistent. Um, and then this particular rep where you put 306 on the bar and 300 was your previous PR. Like what was your, uh, what was your previous, mindset during this? Previous best before this was actually 302. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So it was like four different sessions where I did 300, 302, 306, and, uh, and then uh, tree, tree, something, <laughs> tree <-tang>. something else. <laughs> <laughs> It's not interfering, but I can tell the mic is there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like bumping up and down. I've got experience with yeah, this yeah. thing, man. <laughs> oh, can you watch? Too low. Too low. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's <that's> terrible. <laughs> Do you like telling people what you're gonna do in the training session, or do you hate it? I don't. I don't really like it because it's you, you put up you yeah. put up expectations as to yeah. what you want to hit and what you're you know. Exactly. Yeah. Just expectations suck. Mm. My thing is, it's all about feeling while you're in it. Mm. Sure. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You know, you got to fight through bad days. <laughs> you're right there. <laughs> There you go. Uh, this next one is yeah, me 15 failing. attempts. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> we don't need you to talk about all these, these lifts in particular on this video, but we'll have it going over the top. What uh, was going through your mind on that? Were you just like, I don't, I don't care, I'm just gonna go or what? I mean, that's usually what I do when I go for a max snatch. Um, you don't miss 15 times though when you go for a max snatch. I've done that several times when really? I've gotten my PRs on the snatch. Yeah. Maybe not like 15 times, but like sometimes like 
seven, eight attempts, sometimes 10. I bet. I guess it was like a bit excessive, <laughs> that session. Um, but yeah, that's what I usually do because I could snatch. It's not that fatiguing. You can take multiple attempts and be fine. And I'm not competing, so missing doesn't really matter. So this is this is a great thing that I want to yeah. kind of get into. Mm. You are much closer to what you do. And what you want to do in weightlifting is much closer to what a skateboarder wants to do. Because if a skateboarder competes, they don't get 15 yeah. chances at one trick. But when they have a, a part, mm. you know, um, whether it be a line, whether it be a single trick off some sort of, you know, big ass thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they take it, sometimes they'll take that shit for months. Mm. You know, it's the same thing in weightlifting. In your, in your chance, like, you're like, I'm just gonna keep going. But e even if I was competing, uh, doing something like that is fine, I think, in like the off season. Yeah, in the off, yeah. okay. Yeah, but, but you, you wouldn't wanna be doing that, you know, like three months uh, from your competition. If you did, you'd probably yeah. wanna open up way lighter. Yeah, of course, yeah. Cause yeah. that's not a real made, <laughs> yeah. that's not something you can yeah. base your snatching in competition mm. to. Mm. Um, but that was just a day where you were just, like, was there a point where you're like, oh, I can, I'm probably gonna stop, and then I'm just gonna keep, go you just kept going? Because uh, every attempt I did was closer and closer. So like, the first attempt, I was scared to even attempt it. Second attempt, I pulled it higher. Third attempt, it got closer. Uh, one of the attempts I missed behind, so, you know, it, it was closer each time, you know? Yeah. I, I got more and more confident as uh, I went on with the attempts. And um, that's why I think I progressed in the snatch more than the clean and jerk because I got a lot more practice with it, with the heavier weights. Heavy weights yeah. Whereas like the clean jerk, you can't do that. Yeah, no, you know? no, nope. yeah. especially the weights you want to use, yeah. you cannot do that. You can't take multi multiple attempts. I think attempts. in the clean yeah. and jerk, it's more about gaining volume and things that are close to clean and jerk. So front, yeah, of course, yeah. front squat yeah. jerk, yeah, you're lots right. of pulls, yeah. lots mm. of front squats. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, that was a good one. Good. <laughs> What's your heaviest lift on Lift Companion? What's your Lift Companion PR? PR on Snatch? Lift Companion PR on Snatch? I think it might be like 130. 130. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The next one is 230 clean with Gabriel Sincrane. It's a 14 minute video, but there's a lot of lore behind you guys and Gabriel. And first off, where was this gym? That is in Truly in Kerry, Ireland, so southwest of Ireland. Um, I'd say that is, I'd say that's like my favorite training session of my life, I, I think. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was great. Like G Gabriel, you know, being in Ireland, going heavy, going heavy with him. The Seeker boys were there. Yeah. Had a really good, re really good time. And uh, Did you feel special when, in that day? Like, did you feel like something special was happening in that day? Yeah, I did. Yeah, um, I didn't tell anyone what I was doing, obviously, because <laughs> I hate telling people uh, what I'm actually planning to do in a right. session. Yeah. Um, warmed up with, well, I guess it's not really a warm up, but I went up to 150 kilos in the power snatch. I didn't want to go heavy on both the snatch and the clean jerk. Yeah. I was really focusing on the clean jerk. And uh, hit a PR in the clean and jerk. Yeah. And it took five years, I think, to add 2.5 kilos on the clean and jerk. And that's like when I first my uh, previous record, so. 222.5? Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then uh, obviously the 230 clean was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that was, um, was a five kilo PR as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that lift, anything in particular about that that you were thinking beforehand or during it or whatever? Do you I was just uh, really scared. <laughs> like with max cleans, it's always scary. Yeah. Yeah, it is terrifying. It's a lot of like, force. Whenever I do max cleans, um, like my hands start shaking. I think, <laughs> yeah. I think though, the way that you do it though, it's like, it's all you have to do, like for you, all yeah. you have to do is make 180. So you make 180, you're like, okay, I made 180. Okay, all you have to do is make 190. Okay, make 190. Like, you just focus on that lift, instead of saying like, man, 230 slamming down on me is fucking scary. If anything, like I, I wouldn't think of any particular like technique cues or anything. I was just trying to calm myself down. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, like be in the moment. Because like with that way, it's super scary. Yeah. Like, um, Fucking, yeah, yeah. I, I struggle to do clean pulls that way. And to jump under it is, is so, so scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Like, did you ever have like training sessions like that where you do like clean pulls in a way like, around your best clean and jerk and like, 
a how lot. The hell do I, how, yeah. how the hell do I clean jerk that? You know? You just, it's different, yeah. it's a different yeah. world. Mm. That's, your, that's just your, your brain. Like yeah. so many people in weightlifting want to create these patterns. They want to be like, well, if I can clean pull this, then I can do this. Mm. They want to know what they're going to do before they're going to do it. Yeah. The problem yeah. is you have to be in it to determine if mm. you're going to make it yeah. or not. Yeah. Like, yeah, if, if you put 230 on the bar right now, you would be like, how on earth did I ever do that? <laughs> but yeah. you're a different human yeah. being right now. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, yeah. even if you were in the same shape, you'd be like, you're not in the mm. same person. Yeah. Mm. And like when I, when I did like, uh, like whenever I peak, I usually do clean pulls and snatch pulls, not above my best snatch or best clean jerk, but like what I hope to like snatch a clean jerk. Okay. So I was hoping to clean jerk 225 during that period. So you were doing So a lot I was of doing loads and loads of clean pulls at 225 and each rep I was doing, I was imagining I was gonna clean up. Yeah. That's some valuable shit right there. <laughs> Cause the uh, whale of thing is, is about confidence. Yep. Um, yeah. Nice. <sighs> One ten? Sure, yeah. Okay, so I think that this is the Clarence Kennedy video. Right here, this is the defining Clarence Kennedy video. <laughs> it is the 300 kilo pause squat. This is like what kinda, for me, puts you on the map, for maybe you're doing some bigger stuff like right around that time, but yeah. this one went really viral. And I think the where, where I saw it was All Things Gym did a, like a, they did a blog on you. Yeah. Interviewed you on your training and what mm. you did in Poland and all of that. Yeah. Um, Reddit at that time was actually, I loved it. I loved Reddit weightlifting around that time. So we, you were, you know, we were talking about you quite a bit. This is the definitive Clarence Kennedy video, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, leading up to this, what was your training like? You're obviously in that famous gym in Cork, was it? Or <laughs> Trilly. Trilly. Trilly, it's yeah. A, a Gaelic football club gym. Okay. Actually, it was a clubhouse, and there was like a small gym in the corner, and we asked if we could put a platform in there with a platform, and they agreed, and we just brought in all of our own equipment, so all the stuff in that gym was mine. In the so corner. you know, yeah. you know that uh, Derek Moore plays more dates. Yeah. The sauna. Yeah. What's the story behind that? Uh, he doesn't even really explain it to me. <laughs> yeah. Part of his lore, but but your sauna is that gym. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, this was, you know, I don't think, like, we've, we've actually never seen this on the internet before. A low, first off, a low squat, like a really low squat time, at 300. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like, just really low. Like, not just an, a, a weightlifter squatting high bar, but sitting on your heels. Obviously, there's the Klokov one. Klokov, maybe he saw you doing the it. The 250 balls. Yeah. Front squat, yeah. 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 Um, but... There really wasn't a lot of like weightlifting videos back then at all. Yeah, uh, it's really when Instagram became a thing that you saw like more, more uh, weightlifters. But not only low, but the pause yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sure people didn't even know that like pause was a thing. <laughs> and so that was more of the yeah. reason why you. Yeah, that's yeah. why you did pause. I guess people are used to seeing um, like uh, high, high uh, powerlifter squats. Mm -hmm. like high uh, low bar power lifting squats. So when they saw something like that, it just blew their minds. 
even though the way I did there is far lighter than like what the best power throws are doing, people care more about it because it was 100% raw and deep. And deep yeah. and polished yeah. and strict, mm. like just in everyone's face. Mm. Like mm. Um, your, that, that squat is not what other people mm. are doing. Yeah. If, if that's a squat, then the power lifter is not squatting. You know, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. This is just something completely different in it. Because like with me, um, I don't really care, like of course I care about the weight on the bar, but I also care about how it looks. And like me not wearing like a belt, knee sleeves, and squatting as deep as possible. Like that looks cool <laughs> compared to, I don't know, a power lifter low bar squatting with like tight knee, uh, knee straps and like in a squat suit. Yeah, you know? for sure. And uh, I, I think people um, have the same opinion as me. And I think, yeah. Again, if you look at, I just love comparing it to like skateboarding. Mm. It's it's in some parts of skateboarding, it's just doing doing the thing matters. But a lot of skateboarding is style. Yeah, a lot yeah. of it. Mm. Like if some one guy could do a kickflip, the other guy could do a kickflip. Yeah, it was I mean? the, it's the same uh, in tricking as well. Like sometimes just watching the basic tricks done very good is is more entertaining than watching you know, the other higher level tricks. I remember yeah. you showed me a tricking video and the in my the only one that I remember was a guy doing a backflip. That was it. <laughs> yeah. He was like this short, yeah. tiny little Asian guy and mm. he was just like floating. Yeah. And yeah. Mm. I was like never seen anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck, oh. <sighs> nice. Uh, this is five. Yeah. Actually, didn't feel, feel that bad. Like, just need to take 14 more attempts and you get it. What's next? 25? Yeah, sure. All right. Okay, I, I look, I'm gonna skip down a bit here because I yeah, genuinely want to talk about this one. Just pick your favorite the, one. Uh, yeah, 265 for 10. That's another video that you showed me. Uh, before I made it public. Yeah, before yeah. I made it public. And that was an interesting one. Why did you choose 265? Like, what was the deal with that workout just in general? My previous best before that was 260 for nine. Um, okay. But at the end of training cycles, like um, like I said, I like going for deadlifts. I also like going for rep maxes and squat because those two exercises, they would fatigue me for like at least a week and a half. So it's a perfect um, exercise to do like at the end. Um, but yeah, that was that was like probably one of the most difficult things I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, it. Would, do you think that that's in in one single exercise or one single kind of workout that that was the hardest you've ever worked? As far as like, that was true or PE ten for sure. Like not a single rep more. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Right? Mm. And were you, did you feel like sick after it or did you feel like out of breath? Like yeah, I, I laid on the floor for like five minutes, literally. Um, and an interesting thing about that, that video, which no one cared about, was I went for a max clean jerk after that. So I rested for 35 to 40 minutes after that squat. I just walked around that side because I was so out of breath, I felt sick. Uh, but I felt good after that rest period, so I decided, oh, why not go for a max clean jerk since? What did you get in the clean jerk? 
Uh, I clean and jerk to 10 after that. Oh <laughs> my. And like, I, I put it in the video. It's, it's in the video. It's in the video. It's right after that squat and no one cared about that. <laughs> no one commented. I, I got so annoyed at that. Uh, the internet um, does not care also about Also cleans 222. You clean 222 after, after the clean and jerk? Yeah. Christ. So I clean 222 an hour after doing the 265 <laughs> by time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you up? Yeah, sure. Heaviest I've gone. Past couple of weeks is 130 kilos. I think, I think the week is catching up to me, man. This week, I, I have a step counter on my phone and it said I did 20,000 steps yesterday. Yeah, and that wasn't a heavy step day, I don't think. Like, it was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, was yesterday, like, yesterday was not a rest day, <laughs> for sure. We went to that shrine yeah. and everything. Um, I did more walking afterwards, too. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Mm. No excuses, just a proof. Well, there's my excuse. <laughs> Fuck. Let's talk I'm about your heaviest snatch. I'm trying to think about, like, what, what lift is the most interesting for me, personally, but... Pause bench. Um, <laughs> what lift is interesting? Um, I mean, you're 190 snatch. 190 snatch, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, where is that, though? So it's not even in your highest. That's, see, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that says anything about the internet right now. We yeah. can't even find his 190 snatch amongst his popular vi videos. It's depressing. So depressing. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's what this is all about, man. <laughs> there's, there's literally like three bench videos before um, my 190 snatch. They got more views. <laughs> 240, oh my God. Okay, tell me about this lift. <laughs> the 190 snatch. Um, in the, in the that was a number I wanted for so long. And I took maybe, over the course of multiple sessions, maybe 60 attempts at 190. No joke. Uh, 60 in your lifetime before that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How many attempts on that day? Just one. And I made a first line. Yeah. No fucking way. So in that session, um, I didn't miss at all up to 190. Uh, so I did 180, 187. 187 was a 2.5 kilo PR. Mm -hmm. And then I tried 190 afterwards and I got it. I also tried 192 and failed it. Ah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, wow. It's probably, I, I probably failed with 192 because I was so happy that I yep, got 192. That's yeah. how it always yeah, happens. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you blow your excitement. I, 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 wasn't, uh, I wasn't happy after the 187 because like 190 was a number in my head for so long. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it felt really good to make that 190. Yeah. All right, that's it. That was Clarence's greatest hits behind the lift and a lift companion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Clarence's channel, obviously. Uh, and then the Seek of Strength Boys channel as well. We're, we're putting out a ton of Japan content. We so, lift weights, yeah. don't forget. Yeah, we lift weights them. as well. <laughs> He's helping He's us a lot. He's been incredible yeah. for us. He's been interpreting and taking us around Tokyo. Um, and he's gonna come with us to Korea. So we'll see you guys later. Okay. okay.